Beauchemin Pinard, I'm happy I didn't butcher that, is joining the show today, Olympic medalist in the sport of judo. Uh, again, she's kind enough to join us. Catherine, how are you doing today? Good, you? I'm doing well. It is a hot day down in South Louisiana. I wish I was in Canada. Yeah, it's uh, more cooler now. It's nice. <laughs> <laughs> so for everyone, we're going to dive right in. So for everyone who doesn't know you, um, you know, if they've been living under a rock or whatever, how did you start training in judo? What made you want to become a judoka uh, uh, originally? I have like my classic story that I said like so much, but it's so funny. I was really not like in shape when I was young. I like, I was doing like, I was something for five minutes and I was dying in the corner. And my Me parents not. was like, uh, yeah, I was, when I was really young and my parents was uh, not thinking I will do like a career in sport. I was more like artistic thing or like mm -hmm. art. But Sally, like my brother and my sister was doing like soccer and my brother was doing taekwondo. And my parents wanted really me to do a sport. So I tried like a few stuff, like trampoline, dance, soccer, and nothing like, I don't know, like, I, I didn't like it that much. And finally, like in class, when I was like studying French, we read the, uh, an article on like Nicolas Gill that was saying like, yeah, it's like, in French, it's la piqûre pour le judo. So like, we really like it. So I was like, okay, I could try that. And I said to my mom that I want to try judo. She like didn't like think I will like that. But then I, I started loving that. And like, I started to get in shape and like doing competition. And now I'm here. <laughs> it's crazy. I've talked to uh, a couple Olympians, especially in judo. It's kind of like one of those things where, yeah, I started doing this for exercise and for fun. And now I'm in the Olympics. I don't know what happened, but I, I'm there, <laughs> you know, but it is accumulation of years and years of hard work. Uh, yeah. You guys have been either, you know, training like a madman since you were in your teens or being a judoka since you were 10 years old, you know, yeah. so it, it's a lot of hard work. And it's really cool that the uh, the Olympics give you guys a uh, an opportunity to express yourself because that's really what martial arts is all about is expressing yourself so outside of judo what do you do i mean i find a lot of athletes are just normal people like me and you hey kitty yeah my cat uh, mika <laughs> hey mika my boyfriend is uh, the other other place so that's all right him. But yeah what do you do outside of judo what what hobbies do you got uh, yeah, so I still studying because like, you know, when I will stop judo, I need to do something else of my life because I cannot do judo all my life. My body right. will not like it. Uh, but yeah, so I'm, it's, I'm studying in accounting. Okay. So I have like one year to do this year and after I'm done with my bachelor uh -huh. and after I have other stuff to do, to do like the, the, the official like CPA becoming yeah. like an official accounting but um, i will start to finish my bachelor <laughs> first all right that's all right and yeah i interviewed a karate guy from jordan the other day he's a bronze medalist and he's a six-year med student and i was like how do you do yeah that? it's crazy it's insane you gotta i mean to be at that high of a level you've got to be able to 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 juggle to spend time in karate but he's also med students take forever it's ridiculous yeah. he's doing it i mean Geez, so do you do it other... part time, man? Yeah, it's it's hard. It really is, especially yeah. at that level. Do you do any other martial arts? I know, like a lot of judoka do jujitsu or stuff like that. Um, no, I mean, I, I would like to try jujitsu because I really like to do newaza Joe. It's like one of yeah. my favorite thing to do. But other than that, I, I try a little bit box, but just to like try yeah. it. It was not like in a, a real fight. So, but I didn't like really like try that much other sport like that. So you said your brother does Taekwondo, correct? Yeah. Yeah. He, he stopped now, but like when he was young, he did uh, a lot of Taekwondo. About, I was about to ask if he wanted to use his Taekwondo on you, how easy would it be for you to throw? Him? <laughs> but he tried judo too. He tried <laughs> judo after and he really liked it. So I, it was hard to try after <laughs> because he knew how to like play. 
Is he is it your older brother or your your younger brother? Yeah, I'm I'm the younger. Oh. So uh, me, my sister is, is older, and my brother is more older. That's gotta that's gotta be oh, tough yeah. for him. He starts judo, and you're an Olympian. It's like, oh, I, there's nothing I'm gonna do. <laughs> yeah. So Canada has a lot of a good history with judo, actually. Um, you know, a lot of Olympians and stuff. What was it like when you found out that you were going to be able to represent your country in the uh, Olympic Games? Uh, the first time I represented the country at the Olympic was at Rio in 2016. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I forgot yeah. that. Yeah, but yeah, I was in fifth cent kilo, but I feel it was like two different like story, uh, two different but two different experiences. Sure, because Kevin, we couldn't mm-hmm. like stay after in Tokyo. But just like going there and like be proud of representing Canada and like want to do something for Canada, it's, it's so nice. Now, what was it like when you uh you won and you got the bronze medal? That's got to be a surreal feeling, yeah. Yeah, so much emotion coming like in because you know all that day you like keep the emotion in because you're like my day is not done. I need to keep going. I need to do another fight. I mean, <laughs> so you don't like let yourself go that much. Like it's sure after each fight, I like celebrate a little bit, mm-hmm. but just like to like keep going. I'm like, okay, this is done. Next, next. But after that, after the last one, you're like, my day is finally done. I did it. I have my bronze medal. So it's like so much emotion. It's yeah. I, the, the I was big... like, I'm sorry, go ahead. Yeah. I was taking my family, like, I was like, oh my god, if I win before I fight, I was like, if I win that, I can wait to like grab it and like put it like the neck of my father and like show it at my mother and my boyfriend. I was like, you see, I did it. <laughs> it's worth it. <laughs> yeah. So the, the the big story going into um, the the Tokyo Olympics this year was obviously the pandemic. Uh, it made a lot of yeah. it made it hard to train. Um, it kind of, it, you had, you had both experiences with the Olympics with going into Rio and going into Tokyo where you're locked down and everything. What was, what was it like though, training for, for the Olympic games, like under, <laughs> under, cause you got to train, you've got to train. Yeah. What, yeah. No trains. Do, do, you got a mat at the house that you was throwing on with a dummy or what? <laughs> no, but finally, because during the first lockdown, like was like what six months i don't remember but it was so long yeah. uh but it was before like the date of the olympic and finally they postponed it so i was like okay I, I will be able to train okay for the for the olympic but yeah during the first lockdown i was like okay i need to find something to train so i was like running doing like circuit in my condo and like using my boyfriend a little bit, but he didn't like it that much. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I was trying to do my best in my home. But after that, we could like come back at the training center. But with so much rule at first was like, you need to train with like maximum three or four partner. And we used to like have so much more partner and have mm-hmm. diversity and like different style of judo. And now you're stuck to train with the same like each night and fight the same each night. It was like, I think to be like annoying, mm-hmm. but then we like try to like find way to make it like more interesting, because yeah. So like we we did that first, and just before the Olympic, we uh, we started an Olympic bubble with like twenty five athletes. Mm-hmm. So this was nice, but still like I didn't have like that that much like girl partner. Because it was mixed with the boys, so all the big boys were in the 25 people. So I was fighting a lot with the boys in like a while. And Jess was there too, another uh, 57 kilo. Yeah. And yeah, so we, we train like that and we try to do the best we can to like be ready for Olympic. And it's kind of amazing with like all the risks we, share, we have. We did that much result at the game in judo we have like two fifth place and two bronze so yeah it's, it's crazy that we we made that with like nothing yeah that is, that is it's, it's incredible i love hearing about it because a lot of people had to do some crazy things to uh do it i interviewed a kickboxer and he said he had nowhere to go he lives in um eastern europe i forget which country i'm sorry 
but he's like, I had to oh, just yeah. go in the street and, and train. I was training, training in the middle of the street. It was crazy. Um, oh, wow. So kind of a fun question here. One million dollars is on the line and in front of you is George St. Pierre. Can you throw George St. Pierre? Uh, if he doesn't like kick and like box. No, no kicking. He's just got to stop you. <laughs> okay, just judo? <laughs> yeah, you throw, yeah, just judo. <laughs> just judo? Yeah. Uh, but he is it's bigger than me, so uh, I will try. For sure. He's only well, 67 kilo. I'm 63 now. I was 57 like in uh, Rio, and now I'm 63. Yeah. Uh, um, but it's still more heavy than me. <laughs> but I will try if I can try and like see if I can do it. <laughs> I like your chances. I like your chances. I think you can do it. <laughs> <laughs> so now that you have the bronze medal, does everybody actually see it? What? Sorry. Now that you have the uh, the bronze medal, you know, does everybody in your town and stuff? Does everybody that you know ask, "Hey, can I see your medal?" Uh, I, yeah. If like they ask, I was like, "Sure." If I have it like around me, uh, but I tried to like have it here, and <laughs> yeah, I love it. I tried to like, uh, yeah, I tried to have it all the time with me if I can to like show it to my friend or like some people that want to see it. Yeah, I'm like. It's it's the beauty of like the middle. I'm like people want to see it, so why I will like keep it to myself. So yeah, <laughs> when I go like I know yesterday I did like a bike uh, bike roll with like friend, mm -hmm. and I bring it because I knew like some of my friends really want to see it. So I was like, well, let's show it. <laughs> Are you bike riding with the Olympic medal around your neck? No, no, no. <laughs> it was in the car during the bike ride. <laughs> I did like. <laughs> oh my god i was so scared to like drop it i bet i bet i bet so do you plan to uh 2024 in paris is only three years away because of the delay do you plan on competing there or i don't know yeah <laughs> uh before the olympic uh, uh into 2020 uh i was thinking to like stop after mm -hmm. this olympic but now with my third place, I was like, well, imagine if I keep going three, three years, maybe I can do better. <laughs> so, have you ever been to Paris? So, uh, yeah, yeah. We have a, a lot of content there. Yeah. But like the crowd over there in Paris, like really love judo. And like, I'm pretty sure like the Olympic will be amazing there. Yeah. And the thing that like was not really uh, Olympic uh, this year, can me like want to like do another round to like finish with like a real Olympic game <laughs> yeah. and that like one with like all the COVID stuff. Yeah. So, but I don't know. I will. I will do like one air at a time. My That's all you can do. Objective is like, yeah. <laughs> well, can. I will see. <laughs> well, there's world championships for you to compete in. Until then, I'll be looking for yeah. to it. Um, Catherine, where can everybody find you on social media? Uh, Instagram a lot. I'm more on Instagram, but I have a page Facebook too that I still post when I think about it. <laughs> but like on Instagram, it's uh, the place I go more. Thank you very much for coming on the show. Congratulations on your bronze medal. And whatever you do next, I'm sure you'll be great at. I appreciate it. Thank you. Have a good one. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. <laughs> bye bye. Yeah. Like, come on the head, say bye. <laughs> yeah, you had to come say, I like my new friend. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank I'll uh, I'll uh, talk to you later. I'll send you the uh, stuff when it's live and and all yeah, that. Stuff. Perfect. All right. Thank you, Catherine. Mm. Bye, bye. Hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video and these talks I had. Hope you enjoyed my guest and all of my topics on the show. If you enjoyed this and you want to support the podcast, you can always check me out on Patreon. Patreon is a crowdsourced funding where I can, you pay $5 a month, for my example, $5 a month, and you get exclusive content every Monday. Every Monday, content just for you, including the career watch through of Habib Nurmagomedov, if that might interest you. Other things I have in the pipeline after the Habib will be the ruthless reign of Robbie Lawler, Mike Tyson's revenge, and much more. It's great. I hope you all enjoy this. And uh, yeah, check me out on Patreon. It's fun, and I think you guys would like it. Peace.
patreon.com slash fight library you can find me on there fight library everywhere so guys thank you again and uh have a good one